Fantastic. Here we are. Happy Tuesday. I am super excited today because today I have a dynamo on with us. And when I say dynamo, I am not messing around. This woman takes the world by a storm. And if it doesn't deliver, she shakes the world upside down and makes it her own. That's just how she rolls. So today we have a very special treat. Um, for those of you who are in real estate, you're really going to love this because Coach Ella is the queen of real estate. And I will tell you about that in a minute. But if you are not in real estate, you are going to get a ton out of this because the creativity, the um, persistence, the absolute drive that she has and what she's created, we're all going to learn from that. So it's just amazing value out of learning from her. So to start with, I'm going to begin today and introduce you to Coach Ella, the founder of Real Estate Ladies Rock. And Coach, I would love to have you start off today. Tell everybody a little bit about what that is. And if you wouldn't mind sharing the wild story of how you founded it, because it's pretty remarkable. What's going on, all of my bosses? I know everybody out there is a boss, so hello, all of the bosses. I am Coach Ella, and yes, founder of Real Estate Ladies Rock. Leanne, I have to be honest, a lot of people don't know this story, but let me go here. I'm a real estate agent. I've been licensed since 2008. I came into the industry right at the crash. Didn't know it was the crash, but I did. Um, I was very successful doing my real estate transactions and everything. And then I got into coaching. And so I had got the opportunity, a company asked me what I coached at their brokerage. And I did, and I did that for a few years. And then of course I went, got another opportunity to coach. And so I had been coaching for other real estate brokerages and some teams. And then I said, you know what, because I'm this out of the box thinker, I said, you know what, I'm going to go and just open up my own uh, coaching company. And I did that, Leanne. But now, look, I was at the other companies. And so everybody knew me when I was at the companies because the companies didn't want to share me. So I couldn't be like, I'm all exposed everywhere else. But what happened was I said, OK, I need to have an event because I need to like brand me. I need everybody out there to know who Coach Ella was because the only people that knew who I was, was those that were at the brokerages. Mm -hmm. So I decided to say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna have an event. So I had this conference. I had to come up with a name for the conference. And I just so happened, I called it Real Estate Ladies Rock. Now Leanne, here's the catch. <laughs> Everybody don't judge me, don't judge me, don't judge me. Anyway, I had this fabulous event. We were over at the Marriott. It was all day. I had speakers that come in from everywhere we had. It was over 200 uh, real estate women um, that was there. And from comedians to a live band to a full course meal, a Le Leanne, we had everything. Oh, and that's so how you roll though. Of course, that's how you would do it. You know? <laughs> so Leanne, look, the whole day, everything was fabulous. Everybody was having a good time, everything. Now, my initial thing was this. I said, I'm gonna have this event. I'm gonna sell five coaching packages. I was just being modest. I said, I'm going to sell five because I was looking at how much it was going to be for the whole year I would make. I had, oh, man, I had went and rented a nice office. Now, this office, I'm paying about $1,500 a month in this office. My office laid out. Awesome. So, look, the whole day, everything was fabulous. And then at the end of the night, everybody leaving, we cleaned it up, getting all the stuff. And something, my husband said, so how'd you do? And it just hit me, Leanne, like a ton of bricks. I was like, oh my goodness. I never told nobody about the coaching. Leanne, could you believe that? Like, we told them we spent some money. Thanks to all of my sponsors, but we spent some money. I totally forgot to tell everybody about the coaching. So let me just go here to all of my bosses out there. You got no plan. And I don't know how many spiritual bosses out here or whatever, but God had another plan for me. Because see, I said, I only wanted five. I only wanted to coach five. 
And look what he has blessed me with. I've been able to coach thousands of real estate agents all across the country. So stop thinking small. Stop asking for just a little bit. I want y'all to expand and just ask for as much as you know you can handle. So, Leanne, that's how real estate agent ladies rock got started. What happened after that, because I was devastated, I'm not going to lie, I was completely devastated. And then people were calling me. They're like, Coach, uh, when are we going to do this again? I'm like, do what again? It's like, when are we going to have another event like Real Estate Ladies Rock? Oh, we can do this all the time. There is no Real Estate Ladies Rock. Like, what are you talking about? Do y'all know I just lost all my money? And so it took me some time to kind of get over that. And so the birth of Real Estate Ladies Rock actually came probably like maybe a year and a half after that. And then you know, I've been blessed. We have 45,000 real estate bosses all across the country. And it is just amazing. So that's, that's, that's my wild. story. That's my story. You, sh you shot for five and ended up with 45,000. That's, you know... <laughs> Not a bad thing. And you're so funny because you're like, don't judge me. Look, who would judge you? You're wildly successful. You're impacting female realtors all over the country. And, you know, just because the plan didn't look like we set it out to be just like you said, God always has a better plan than we can possibly come up with. Absolutely. So I'm just forever grateful. And I'm ready. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm ready. I'm not even going to. Look, I ain't complaining no more. So don't be out there complaining because when you ask for something, be be ready to receive it. That's all I'm saying. So, I, so you got it in a big way. So now you run real estate, I can say real estate ladies rock with over 45,000 people. And you also run the coaching business too. That is a tremendous amount of things you have going on, you know, just for fun now that it's really booming and so much has happened in such a short time for you. Can you share, you know, why you love it? What's fulfilling about it or rewarding? What, what's the thing that makes it so awesome for you? Because you put a a lot of time and energy into helping people. You really do. I want to be honest. Um, my life has always been about serving. So mm -hmm. what's fulfilling is I get to bless people that I don't even know that I'm blessing. And when you get the call is like, and these are complete strangers, like coach, you've changed my life, my circumstances, oh. because a lot of what we do is free. So there are a lot of different other opportunities are different. I just say that together we all win. And if I can just do my one little part, that one piece, and just to be able to help somebody, that has been the most rewarding um, part about this because I do get to meet agents from all across. I, more than just agents. And look, the guys, Leanne, they like, when you gonna have a, a real estate man boss? Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm working on it, but the connection and to be able to be of service to others, because when you do, when you do it and not intentionally, you know, I mean, yes, we got plans and things like that, but when you really go and pour out unintentionally, like I'm not looking for anything to come back. Yeah. I know God will bless me with, you know, so I just, my heart is in it. My heart is there. So that has been the most rewarding um, part of this whole journey. It's just awesome. Able to and for those of you who are watching, if you are a realtor, she has a free Facebook group where you can go called Real Estate Ladies Rock. So you can tap into all that. But also we have people who are non-realtors and there's so much wisdom and so many things that you have to share. So one of the things I thought was amazing, because there's so many amazing things about you, is the speaking story. So you were looking to become a speaker. And I know that you were submitting some things so you could get a speaking opportunity and that didn't go the way you thought it would. And then you created your own world. Can you tell people that? Cause there are a lot of people who are watching that are up to something. And I think that, you know, it would be amazing for them to hear the creativity and how you made your own opportunity. It's awesome. Please share. So as I've been coaching and then it's like, Oh, you know what? I want to be on the stage. I want to, you know, let people hear. So here I'm dreaming again, here I'm thinking again. And then, I started submitting applications. Okay. I was, it was like, no, denied, denied. No, or you just didn't hear nothing back. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. Here I am. I'm Coach Ella. Okay, yes. I pat myself on the back because ain't nobody else patting me on my back. And it's like, okay, I have this platform. We have the people here. It's like, and I've been teaching 
create your own opportunities. So I got to, I'm preaching it. I got to do it for myself. And I was like, okay, create my own opportunities. So what I did was I said, okay, look, I'm going to create my own stage. So bosses out there, there ain't nobody putting you on the stage. You create your own stage. And that's what I did. So I said, you know what? I created a, a training course, how to close 50 deals in 365 days. And then I asked the ladies, I said, I want to come to somebody's town. Everybody start raising their hand. I said, like, okay. So they paid for my flight. They paid for me to get there. And that was my stage. So I went to about 15 states. Wow. And I did this training. And then I'm like, okay, I've been on the stage. So I don't need anybody to, okay, let me go back, Leanne. Yes, call me to be on your stage. But what the moral of the story is create your own opportunities. Don't wait for somebody to do it for you. So I've been blessed even after I did that, Leanne. Yes, I got called. Now I get called to say, hey, come speak uh, at this particular event. So I had two things against me. For one, nobody knew who I was. And for two, nobody knew who I was. But now, and this is the thing, bosses, it doesn't matter. As long as you know who you are, you can do this. Like, you can do anything that you want. So it was uh, fun. So I got to go to California because I said, hey, whoever had the most people, we've done so much, Leanne. I'm just like overjoyed, overjoyed. So, and I just got on a plane and I just was gone. It was like, okay. So I can now put it on the resume. I've been on several different stages, right? Even yeah, though this is my own stage. I just love, outside of the accomplishments that ultimately came with it, the mindset you have that if somebody closes the door, you just go build your own doorway and haul. Like it doesn't even matter. And that is so powerful. What a way to live and what a way to build a career with a mindset like that. It's remarkable, absolutely remarkable. So um, I know also you've had a lot of speaking opportunities, some really great ones, but I also know that you have a vision for, you know, the real estate industry, changes that you want to make in it, and also the real estate industry and how you want to impact it in five years. And I know we could talk about all that a whole bunch. Let's take a couple shots at that. What are the changes you'd like to make? What are some of the things that you would love to see happen out of what you're doing? If you would um, take a few minutes and share that with us, I, that's really some exciting stuff. Uh, my, the one word I'm going to say is unity. Mm. We have to collaborate. And we're so divided and we don't even really know it. We are not in competition with each other. We're supposed to complement each other. So if anything happens is that I can see like the entire real estate profession, uh, the, the agents, the brokers, everybody to unite together and to bring our mission, which is we're supposed to be of service to the community, to be able to serve the community, to be the resource to the community, to be able to be that go-to person from, from birth to end of life. And uh, real estate, we help people in their biggest purchase of their life. and. Uh, I just wish, I pray that we somehow can connect together to be the resources to our community that we're one. And yes, everybody has their own individual business, but also Leanne in the next five years, I wanna own the block. I, I'm telling you, so I was like, okay, I don't wanna just own one block. I wanna own a block in every state every state. So I'm putting it out there. So y'all come on, we got to push the press. I'm putting it out there, but I want to not just own it. I want to own it with all of the bosses. So it's the thing is, is that we are the community. And if I had my way, yes, that's what we will be doing uh, again. So you have like real estate ladies rock and the real estate ladies block. You'd have kind of all that. Going on. <laughs> So I know that, you know, um, my, my professional background was as an attorney, it was really competitive too. And, and there is so much competition. I think it just shifting that. So people work together to ultimately help people is really a great, great thing that would just empower the realtors, empower the community. Exactly. Like you said, now I also happen to know that you have some, um, pretty neat nonprofit dreams going on there as well. 
And uh, as you build your empire, which is growing 100 miles an hour, I mean, it's growing so fast, my head spins every time I turn around, you got more things going on. You know, do you want to share a little bit about where you see that piece growing? So the, the nonprofit is Real Estate Ladies Rock Unity in the Community. And it's a nonprofit where I was just speaking on of saying to unite the real estate industry to the community. So for us to be of service, to figure it out and to collaborate with other nonprofits, to be that resource, because there's a lot of us. We have the resources, we have the tools, we have you know, a, a lot of different things that we can offer to our communities. And so eventually we'll branch out to different chapters, but to give back. And so we, the community bless us tremendously. You know, real estate, you, it's, you re, it get rewarded. And the thing is, is that we have to now give back. So the nonprofit, that is that vehicle to be able to do that. Excellent. And uh, also, I know that it is a crazy market. So I'm going to throw this question in on you here real quick. It's a crazy market. If someone's watching this and they're a realtor, um, some of them are doing really well. And some of them are putting in offers left and right. And they're not going anywhere right now because they can't get them in fast enough. Do you have any encouraging words for realtors that are out there competing in a market that has like this much inventory, you know? Okay, you want me to get a real talk? Can I be the yeah. real, can I give the real talk? Just give a little taste. Give a little taste of real estate ladies rock. Just a little smidge, you know? <laughs> the coach Ella. You cannot sit around and wait for inventory. You gotta go out there and go create your own inventory. You gotta go out there and, and get yours. Cause this is what I say. You got your listing agents and you got your buy side agents. Mm -hmm. You got a bunch of buyers and you have no listings. You got a bunch of buyers and you're working with these folks and you get multiple offers. You can't sit around and wait for a listing agent to go get a listing. I need all of my bosses to get out there and go find your own listing opportunities. And I think that's the biggest thing is that, oh, I'm, I'm not going to get a check because Leanne ain't going to list nothing. Your buyers are going to leave you soon. I'm just telling you, they're going to leave. So create figure ways that you can, and opportunities are all around us. I, I had an interview one time, Leanne, with a young guy, he's 24 years old, closed 106 deals in his first year. Everybody can look him up, you know, and I'm gonna throw out no names, but you can go look him up. And at 24 years old and closed 106 deals, and 60% of those deals was listings. And you know what he said? All he did was, I talked to people that had houses. So, <laughs> good approach, you know. <laughs> so, don't tell me you can't find nothing, because the thing is, when you walk out the door, there's an opportunity. The problem is that you just won't go. You you won't stretch yourself to go do it. So, don't complain. See, I'm scared to have somebody else in control over my income. Mm. Because I'm the only one that's in control over my income. That means if I don't work, I don't eat. If I don't go hunt, ain't nothing coming in. So you are in control and whether you're in real estate or anything, it's like, okay, you have a business and with your business, you need customers. But if you ain't never opening up your store, you ain't never opened up. I don't know where you are. I can't see you. Ain't nobody coming. You can't be that secret best boss. <laughs> Okay, Leanne, I can go on and on. I'm trying to be nice to the bosses out there. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Listen, it's all good. They came in here voluntarily, so <laughs> you don't have to hold back in here. Look, this is a group of people that really want to afford their lives and be inspired by powerful women just like you. So I had to like get them a little taste of Coachella, you know? Now, if you are a realtor, I would really encourage you to go ahead and, you know, join Real Estate Ladies Rock. It's free. And she's a powerhouse. And of course, you've got coaching programs in there too. If people want to go that route. Um, but we also have a lot of people who are tuned in here that are not realtors. And I was so excited to bring you on because, uh, again, like on a scale of one to 10, your mindset as not only a realtor, but an entrepreneur is like 50. It's so past the normal mindset. And it's difficult to go after things in life that are not handed to you. In other words, you know, it's difficult to start a business. It's difficult to put yourself out there. It's difficult to pursue a goal or pursue a dream. And you have, every time you've done it, something has been a no for you and you just go right around it, recreate something, do something. So if someone is not a realtor, 
but they're watching this and they have something that they dream of accomplishing, being, doing, building, whatever the case is. You know, what would you say? Where's, where's that drive come from? Your, you know, your ambition, what advice would you give someone? Because they are going to have doors closed in their face. It, you can't build without experiencing that. So what would you tell them since you are the queen of doing that? Take it away. Mm, that is no plan B. So if you creating a plan, there is no plan B mm. and there is no second place. So when you get into this game and when you get into any game is you don't set out to say, I'm coming in second place. That's not an option. So that's like planning for the plan B. You going in to win. But let me tell you, it's like one, if you don't write it down, it doesn't exist. We've heard this. Yeah. So, but a lot of times is you say, I want to do this particular thing, but then you don't have the ingredients, the inside. Well, I want to, for my real estate bosses, I want to close two deals a month. For all of my other businesses, I want to make a certain amount of money, but then you don't have the ingredients. But this is the first thing, because I'm going to tell you where your obstacles, your biggest challenge is this. You got to have that conversation with the most important person that's around you. So who is that? That's you. I'm just going to tell you, you need to go talk to the girl in the mirror. Because see, if you go talk to the girl in the mirror, and then let me switch back. You remember that plan that you created? In that plan, it was all the juicy stuff. In that plan, it was all of the, the highs. But see, what you forgot to put in the plan, that there's going to be hurdles. What you forgot to put in the plan, that there was going to be roadblocks. What you forgot, what you put in the plan is I'm going to fall. What you forgot to put in the plan is that there's going to be a lot of no's. What you forgot to put in the plan, I'm going to cry a lot. It's going to be painful. That's the part we forgot to put in the plan. Because see, if we put that in the plan, when it happened, I'd be like, okay, see, I'm at the point now, dust it off. I'm like, say, come on, come on, come on. Because see, I'm waiting for that hurdle. Because see, in order for me to elevate, in order for me to level up, in order for me to get to the next spot, the good spot, I'm gonna have to go through all of that stuff. So I'm gonna just suggest, this is what I'll tell you, Paul, sis, is this. Go pull out your compact, go to the bathroom, wherever that mirror is, and that's where you're gonna get a reality check. Because see, the only person that you got to answer to is that girl there. If you look at her and you tell her, look, I, there is no plan B. There is none. Like you say, I'm doing it for my why. And I tell everybody, Leanne, you know, your why got to be so strong because see, it's not just the kid. It's not the hubby, the spouse, the significant other. It's not that. See, the why is I'm the why. I'm the one I got to please, right? Because see, I tell everybody, say they're doing it for my kids. No, if you have no money, you'll buy a bag of potatoes and you'll have french fries, you'll have tater tots, you'll have mashed potatoes. You will work that bag of potatoes and them babies are not going to be hungry. <laughs> the problem is the girl in the mirror. I got to go look at her, take off the makeup, take off all of that stuff. Look at her and say, what you doing? What are you doing? Because see, in order for you to get the success that you want, you in my way. I need you to work with me. Mm. Now, if she tells you no, you ain't going to do it. If she tells you I can't do it, you ain't going to do it. If she say, come on, let's go, then you're going to move. If she say, there is no plan B, Ella, there is no plan B, Leanne, there is nothing but I want to win. I'm going to win. So if I had to leave you with anything is put all of those ingredients together and we could do this. Like I'm just saying, okay, because I didn't mean to be so, I hope that was, but it's real. This is not no game. It's like who goes and work hard, like your Olympians, your athletes, and all these other people that compete, who go in at the start line and say, you know what? Second place look good. <laughs> you know? Why do you that? take too much work. <laughs> you work as much as you work to say, you know what? Second place. Plan B, where you at? I don't see no plan B, Leanne. There is nothing but first place. Well, honey, you are freaking phenomenal. I love your energy. I love the way you think. I love your determination. Oh there there's so many things that you said today that are worth their weight in gold. You know, like a couple of my favorites when you talked about building into the plan the failure, the rejection, the setbacks. That's so true. And people don't, you're so dead on, right, Ella? People go after things 
and they hope that's actually not going to happen. Not realistic. And that whole last answer to your question, mic drop on that one. I'm just saying, like, you're unbelievable. So I really appreciate your energy, your leadership, your mindset. And I love that you are building this for realtors that are female realtors all over the country, any company free, they can jump on in. It's just awesome. It's just amazing. And if you are, happen to be a realtor and you're watching this also, I, I'll plug Ella. She's got awesome coaching programs <laughs> and you can actually contact her through the group too. Cause now your contact is in the group. So people can reach out to you or they can reach out to you through real estate ladies rock. Uh, but I know everyone watching this. I'm not a realtor. And this has been one smoking conversation, my dear, like just rattled me. You're the best. So before we go, is there anything else that you want to add that we didn't cover today? Um, I thank you so much, Leanne, for this opportunity. I appreciate it. Hey, look, bosses, I'm on another stage. So I am so, I'm so excited about that. Um, I do want to invite, if it's okay, to invite the ladies. We're having yes. our first virtual event is free um, on March the 24th. So to get a free ticket, you just go to events.realestateladiesrock.com and everybody get a free event. And just to let everybody know, so Leanne don't scare you with this whole coaching piece. I have dedicated my entire business right now is to be able to help all real estate agents. So we created a platform on Real Estate Ladies Rock and our motto and my mission is no agents left behind. So we created something that was very affordable. And it is, uh, I call it my boardroom because that's what I coach out of. Leanne, it's only 25 bucks a month. And the thing yeah. is, the goal is that everybody went. And so I encourage you to just, even if you don't do that, just go on to the page because there's so much free stuff. Mm -hmm. These boss ladies are dropping nuggets like you've never seen. Like they give up so much on that page. And I just appreciate all of them. So it's not just me. It takes a whole entire village to do what we're doing. So, and you boss lady, you know, I love you so much. And I right appreciate back at you, girl, let me tell you. <laughs> much. I adore you, respect the heck out of you. And I love that you are absolutely a stand for women being really successful in the profession that you are great at. So. You're just awesome. You're everything this group stands for. When I look at you and I listen to you, that's it. And I hope you all have loved this even a 10th as much as I have, because I feel like I should be paying you to be on here. I, I need to save you 25 bucks, probably a lot more than that. But anyway, thank you. Profit, Leanne. Put it to that build the block thing. So everything- Oh, I can do that. Yeah, you know what? Everything I'm doing from moving forward is I'm really doing it for the nonprofit because- That's awesome. You know, nonprofit, so. Real estate, ladies rock, unity in the community. Um, you know, so that, that's what I want to do. Well, you know, what we'll do at the end of this, we'll post um, your Facebook page. We'll post the event, the virtual event you have coming up and we'll post the unity in the community. So if anybody's interested in any of that stuff, they can tap into it. We'll put it underneath of this interview. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You're awesome. And you go light the world on fire. And this is just another of a billion stages that your energy will cross. So thanks for being here today. And thanks for gracing our whole community here at She Leads. Really appreciate it. Have a great Bye. day. Thank, Thank you. you.